Jeremiah 26 Early in the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came from the Lord. This is what the Lord says, Stand in the courtyard of the Lord's house, and speak to all the people of the towns of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Tell them everything I command you, do not omit a word. Perhaps they will listen, and each will turn from their evil ways. Then I will relent, and not inflict on them the disaster I was planning because of the evil they have done. Say to them, This is what the Lord says. If you do not listen to me and follow my law which I have set before you, and if you do not listen to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I have sent to you again and again, though you have not listened, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and this city a curse among all the nations of the earth. The priests, the prophets, and all the people who heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. But as soon as Jeremiah finished telling all the people everything the Lord had commanded him to say, the priests, the prophets, and all the people seized him and said, You must die. Why do you prophesy in the Lord's name that this house will be like Shiloh, and this city will be desolate and deserted? and all the people crowded around Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. When the officials of Judah heard about these things, they went up from the royal palace to the house of the Lord and took their places at the entrance of the new gate of the Lord's house. Then the priests and the prophets said to the officials and all the people, This man should be sentenced to death because he has prophesied against this city. You have heard it with your own ears. Then Jeremiah said to all the officials and all the people, The Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and this city all the things you have heard. Now reform your ways and your actions and obey the Lord your God. Then the Lord will relent and not bring the disaster he has pronounced against you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me whatever you think is good and right. Be assured, however, that if you put me to death, you will bring the guilt of innocent blood on yourselves and on this city and on those who live in it. For in truth the Lord has sent me to you to speak all these words in your hearing. Then the officials and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man should not be sentenced to death. He has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. Some of the elders of the land stepped forward and said to the entire assembly of people, Micah, of Marasheth prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah. He told all the people of Judah, This is what the Lord Almighty says, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble. The temple hill a mound overgrown with thickets. Did Hezekiah, king of Judah, or anyone else in Judah put him to death? Did not Hezekiah fear the Lord and seek his favor? And did not the Lord relent so that he did not bring the disaster he pronounced against them? We are about to bring a terrible disaster on ourselves. Now Uriah, son of Shemaiah, from kiriath Jerim, was another man who prophesied in the name of the Lord. He prophesied the same things against this city and this land as Jeremiah did. When King Jehoiakim and all his officers and officials heard his words, the king was determined to put him to death, but Uriah heard of it and fled in fear to Egypt. King Jehoiakim, however, sent Elnathan, son of Akbor, to Egypt, along with some other men. They brought Uriah out of Egypt and took him to King Jehoiakim, who had him struck down with a sword and his body thrown into the burial place of the common people. Furthermore, Ahikim, son of Shaphan, supported Jeremiah, and so he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. Jeremiah 27 Early in the reign of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. This is what the Lord said to me. Make a yoke out of straps and crossbars and put it on your neck. Then send word to the kings of Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and Sidon through the envoys who have come to Jerusalem to Zedekiah, king of Judah. Give them a message for their masters and say, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Tell this to your masters. With my great power and outstretched arm, I made the earth and its people and the animals that are on it, and I give it to anyone I please. Now, I will give all your countries into the hands of my servant Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. I will make even the wild animals subject to him. 
all nations will serve him and his son and his grandson until the time for his land comes. Then many nations and great kings will subjugate him. If, however, any nation or kingdom will not serve Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon or bow its neck under his yoke, I will punish that nation with the sword, famine, and plague, declares the Lord, until I destroy it by his hand. So do not listen to your prophets, your diviners, your interpreters of dreams, your mediums, or your sorcerers who tell you you will not serve the king of Babylon. They prophesy lies to you. That will only serve to remove you far from your lands. I will banish you, and you will perish. But if any nation will bow its neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, I will let that nation remain in its own land to till it and to live there, declares the Lord. I gave the same message as Zedekiah, king of Judah. I said, Bow your neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon. Serve him and his people, and you will live. Why will you and your people die by the sword, famine, and plague with which the Lord has threatened any nation that will not serve the king of Babylon? Do not listen to the words of the prophets who say to you, You will not serve the king of Babylon, for they are prophesying lies to you. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. They are prophesying lies in my name. Therefore I will banish you, and you will perish, both you and the prophets who prophesy to you. Then I said to the priests, and all these people, This is what the Lord says. Do not listen to the prophets who say, Very soon now the articles from the Lord's house will be brought back from Babylon. They are prophesying lies to you. Do not listen to them. Serve the king of Babylon, and you will live. Why should this city become a ruin? If they are prophets and have the word of the Lord, let them plead with the Lord Almighty that the articles remaining in the house of the Lord and in the palace of the king of Judah and in Jerusalem not be taken to Babylon. For this is what the Lord Almighty says about the pillars, the bronze sea, the movable stands, and the other articles that are left in this city, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon did not take away when he carried Jehoiachin, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, along with all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem, yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says about the things that are left in the house of the Lord and in the palace of the king of Judah and in Jerusalem. They will be taken to Babylon, and there they will remain until the day I come for them, declares the Lord. Then I will bring them back and restore them to this place. Jeremiah 28 In the fifth month of that same year, the fourth year, early in the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur, who was from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord in the presence of the priests and all the people, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years I will bring back to this place all the articles of the Lord's house that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, removed from here and took to Babylon. I will also bring back to this place Jehoiachin, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the other exiles from Judah who went to Babylon, declares the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Then the prophet Jeremiah replied to the prophet Hananiah before the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. He said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord fulfill the words you have prophesied by bringing the articles of the Lord's house and all the exiles back to this place from Babylon. Nevertheless, listen to what I have to say in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. From early times the prophets who preceded you and me have prophesied war, disaster, and plague against many countries and great kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace will be recognized as one truly sent by the Lord only if his prediction comes true. Then the prophet Hananiah took the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it, and he said before all the people, This is what the Lord says, In the same way I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, off the neck of all the nations within two years. At this the prophet Jeremiah went on his way.
after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, Go and tell Hananiah, This is what the Lord says, You have broken a wooden yoke, but in its place you will get a yoke of iron. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, I will put an iron yoke on the necks of all these nations to make them serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they will serve him. I will even give him control over the wild animals. Then the prophet Jeremiah said to Hananiah the prophet, Listen, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, yet you have persuaded this nation to trust in lies. Therefore this is what the Lord says, I am about to remove you from the face of the earth. This very year you are going to die because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. In the seventh month of that same year, Hananiah the prophet died. Jeremiah 29 This is the text of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the surviving elders among the exiles and to the priests, the prophets, and all the other people Nebuchadnezzar had carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. This was after King Jehoiachin and the queen mother, the court officials, and the leaders of Judah and Jerusalem, the skilled workers, and the artisans, had gone into exile from Jerusalem. He entrusted the letter to Elasa, son of Shaphan, and Gemariah, son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent to King Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. It said, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. When seventy years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. You may say, The Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon. But this is what the Lord says about the king who sits on David's throne and all the people who remain in this city, your fellow citizens who did not go with you into exile. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I will send the sword, famine, and plague against them, and I will make them like figs that are so bad they cannot be eaten. I will pursue them with the sword, famine, and plague, and will make them abhorrent to all the kingdoms of the earth a curse and an object of horror, of scorn, and reproach among all the nations where I drive them. For they have not listened to my words, declares the Lord, words that I sent to them again and again by my servants, the prophets, and you exiles have not listened either, declares the Lord. Therefore hear the word of the Lord, all you exiles whom I have sent away from Jerusalem to Babylon. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says about Ahab, son of Kolaiah, and Zedekiah, son of Masiah, who are prophesying lies to you in my name. I will deliver them into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he will put them to death before your very eyes. Because of them, all the exiles from Judah who are in Babylon will use this curse. May the Lord treat you like Zedekiah and Ahab, 
whom the king of Babylon burned in the fire. For they have done outrageous things in Israel. They have committed adultery with their neighbors' wives, and in my name they have uttered lies which I did not authorize. I know it, and I may witness to it, declares the Lord. Tell Shemaiah the Nehelamite, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. You sent letters in your own name to all the people in Jerusalem, to the priests Zephaniah, son of Masiah, and to all the other priests. You said to Zephaniah, The Lord has appointed you priest in place of Jehoiada to be in charge of the house of the Lord. You should put any maniac who acts like a prophet into the stocks and neck irons. So why have you not reprimanded Jeremiah from Anathoth, who poses as a prophet among you? He has sent this message to us in Babylon. It will be a long time. Therefore build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Zephaniah the priest, however, read the letter to Jeremiah the prophet. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Send this message to all the exiles. This is what the Lord says about Shemaiah the Nehelamite. Because Shemaiah has prophesied to you, even though I did not send him, and has persuaded you to trust in lies, this is what the Lord says, I will surely punish Shemaiah the Nehelamite and his descendants. He will have no one left among this people, nor will he see the good things I will do for my people, declares the Lord, because he has preached rebellion against me.